deep in the shadows I know it's hard to put one foot in front of the other ah. hi everyone welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is c chronicles i post fragrance related content on this platform and if you love that style of content and you aren't subscribed please do consider joining us by clicking the red subscribe button and becoming part of the family now to those who are returning thank you so much for the continued support Kindly note that I have another channel where I focus mostly on Western fragrances as well as my life outside fragrance reviews. That channel's link is going to be in the description. So if you want to subscribe to both, I would very much appreciate that. The second channel's name is called the Sea Chronicles Unscripted. Welcome to today's fragrance review video. We have from our Watania, a fragrance called Watani. I did an unboxing of this fragrance, guys, uh, on my second channel uh, when I was showing you the haul of some of the fragrances that I had added to my collection. And I asked you if I, if you wanted me to bring these fragrances because I was not sure whether our Watania as a house is accessible. And most of you in the comment section said you actually wanted me to bring a series of these fragrances. So, yes, as per promise, I'm going to try and get my hands on more of them and bring them here, right? Now, this is the presentation guys of Watani and if I'm not mistaken I think this is a like there's a series of these ones I think when they gave me this one there was another like lot that looks like this so I'm gonna see if I can buy an addition of the other ones if I'm mistaken then it's something else but I think there is more that come in this uh, particular package so we're gonna spray Watani uh, on this uh, piece of paper and let me say it's not first impressions for now I did blind buy it but I have tried it uh, you know myself or my skin or my clothes and and I pretty much know what this fragrance is all about. And of course, it is a clone. Now, it does open up, guys, as very fruity there. And the first impressions on the whole, what I was getting mostly was passion fruit. It was a lot of passion fruit there aligning even more with like a tropical fragrance. That is what, That was what I thought this fragrance is going to keep you know it's uh, it's direction as like a passion fruit tropical you know aligned fragrance there but after then you know giving it a little bit of more way i did realize that that passion fruit burst or that tropical burst something that feels like pineapple uh something that feels like uh granadilla if you will uh it's just a burst there in the opening for some it's going to be even screechy so that comes there for about five minutes and then this fragrance starts to take like a sour feel of uh direction but still keeping the fruit so this is definitely going to be a fruity scent right it's going to have that fruity burst mostly in that fermented feel of the fruitiness as i say fermented feel i'm going to say uh, these fruits then uh, as the passion fruit or whatever it is you know takes a step back you're going to get more of what feels like grapes there especially the dark grapes fruits that feel like a fruit like a magnet for fruit flies if you will so there's going to be a sweet and sour feel to to this fragrance or to the presentation of the fruit and it carries that sweet and sour feel all through some of you are going to be stuck on the sweetness but i get a switch like a, a complete sweet and sour switch right which i mostly get from wine that sort of feel like i said just imagine opening or having a uh, you know like your grapes there and you're leaving them there those sort of fruits that turn into like a fermented feel that's exactly what you're going to get from this uh fragrance. It also has an inclusion of florals in it but if i should isolate the floral that comes comes mostly you know to the surface there's going to be rose the other florals are muffled but uh, it doesn't make it even about the rose it just makes it about that fermented feel of a package of fruits that feels you know so plummy uh grapey uh berry like fruits but a presentation of a lot of them at the same time and then right? there's going to be a green accord to this fragrance something that comes across as um the leaf of the black currant not the actual black currant uh although of course i can see some of you guys you know smelling the actual black currant but there is a green feel there that i, I sometimes get from cassis you know the actual leaf itself uh and for some it's going to be coming from like a greenness of a patchouli because there is also something that feels like a patchouli in this there's also a synthetic tone to this fragrance but uh 
going or cutting to the chase of what it's cloning this fragrance is definitely in the same vein as the Amani C and they did nail that Amani C to the T so if you love the Amani C the flankers uh, of Amani C you're probably gonna love this why I say the Amani C as well as the flankers the other the toilet uh, the black Amani C is they all share that traditional uh, fermented feel there even boozy right but this booziness should not be mistaken for like a whiskey kind of booze uh, feel it is a booziness that aligns with wine especially red wine uh, because Amani C was popular especially amongst the ladies out there I'm gonna say the DNA is gonna align 80% with a feminine tone of a DNA but to me because it's a fermented feel of those fruits um, it's pretty much unisex but uh, mostly if you want to blind buy this or you want to gift it to, to, to somebody it's going to be an easy gift to a woman what says this one a little bit apart from the Amani C is first of all the opening but that opening is about 5-10 minutes so maybe that is not even significant to mention but it does have a little bit of a tamed uh, heady feel there right tamed because what i get from the actual original amani is a very heady kind of stomach turning thing i actually have a love hate thing with amani uh c myself it's a fragrance that i can rock uh, that amani c but i like to wear it say at the bottom of the hem of my clothing because it's too much of a good thing and uh i was one of those people that was wondering what the fuss or the uh popularity or the you know the craze was about with that particular fragrance because it was just coming to myself to me as a serving of a very heady fruit there you know very strong and uh i'm not gonna say this one is not strong i i get a fragrance from Mortani that lasts about seven eight hours both on skin as well as on clothing and on, on and, and on the tester strip it's a fragrance that has presence but it's not coming across as outright heady the sort of thing that i was getting almost immediately from or that i get almost immediately from amani c but do take note that this fragrance is only uh, two two weeks in my collection so it's probably maybe going to thicken and become exactly that i do not know however it does translate that dna to the tea guys you are going to get that distinct likeness to that amani and you'll know that that is exactly what they were going for so for those who want a cheapy or an alternative this one is going to do it for you the dry down of the fragrance still keeps that fra uh, that uh fermented fruit feel the patchouli comes to the surface mostly they're tying it and giving it some uh, strength uh, and you know that switch of the sweet and sourness is still gonna you know hold on to the to the very end but it is in that end again that you get like a powdery accord especially on the skin it starts to turn a little bit powdery and that shy floral uh starts to make a little bit of a presence there I do get how some people can be stuck on the sweetness but i definitely get a sweet and sour switch there it's going to be a favorite for some of the people that did or still do like amani c uh it's going to be a favorite for a lot of ladies out there because there's a reason why that fragrance was hyped but i confirm and have to say it's a fragrance that uh, I did not go crazy over because it was just too much of a good thing especially in that greenness I think that Cass's leaf or it is the way the greenness is you know translating there that leafy greenness there uh switching with the fruits there and that ooh, you know it's just a fragrance that was giving me like a heady feel so I do hope that either this one sticks to what it is for now but I doubt because it being Middle Eastern is probably going to macerate to even something thicker so it's going to be one fragrance that I'll still have to use but at the hem of my clothing guys. season um this can certainly do cold weather because of the dna in itself it's quite a, a strong fragrance guys uh on its own right so you may want to go slow when it comes to summer but if it's a dna that you completely love of course it's going to do all year round a fragrance that has impressed me even in the two week mark i can uh, see how you know the strength is but minus that uh heady feel that i get from the original thing so i think i can work with this one unless it changes c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let's meet in the comment section where we obviously discuss more about fragrances as per promise i'm going to bring you the albertania house i'm going to be adding them one by one in my collection and then we're going to maybe do a sit down where i tell you my thoughts about the majority of the ones that i would have tested turn on post notifications on both my channels that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video meanwhile like and share this one guys and remember that smelling good is a form of good manners Cheers.